Okay, everyone, thank you for joining the Extreme Team Call um, Thursday night. And I'm going to talk about um, a call I have with David Martin and um, all, the th all the wonderful things he's been teaching me. And I was so excited. I get so excited learning. I mean, I was like jumping up and down. Like, I can't wait to tell you guys. And I had a small group Bible study last night. Otherwise, I would have like got on with you guys right after I got off the phone with them because that's how excited I was. And um, so the one thing that he, and this is all stuff, a lot of the stuff is what we know, but he's number 15 in the company. He probably, he's got one of the biggest pay paychecks in Beachbody. Um, he's the top male coach. Um, so this is just reifying, um, you know, in getting back on what we know to be true. Um, but then there's some other things that he did teach that I've never, ever even thought of. Um, and I'm going to go into that, but I was like, that's brilliant. You know what I mean? Really, really brilliant. So I'm going to first go on to with the basic stuff um, is he, he really emphasized getting everyone to Emerald. Um, it's really super important to try to have everyone get to Emerald. Super, super important. <laughs> you sign up a coach, we need to try to um, have them get to Emerald, you know, whether they sign up a spouse, a friend, um, just to find two people to do this with them um, to start their journey because then you start getting volume and every, you can start, you make success, but you can start getting all your customers. Um, so it's super, super important um, that we try to get everyone to Emerald in our downline. Um, and then also, really getting back to doing everything we can to try to uh, monitor our business make, to make success club five no matter what you know what i mean like say i just i want to help three people no matter i mean if you're in the health food store and you see some people looking at shakes go up and talk to them hand you know hand them a sample and um, i mean i've gotten customers that way actually um because the stuff there tastes like chalk um and shakeology is amazing um, and so, um, like, I mean, it, when you're at the grocery store, wear, wear and share, you know, wear all the beach body gear. We get PV for beach body gear now, tons of PV. They, I mean, I don't know if you guys all saw the beach body line, I'm sure you did. It's really, really, really nice stuff. I mean, stuff that I would love to wear, um, wear different places. And then obviously that gets you lots of sales that can get you sales too. Um, Gracie, I can hear that. Sorry about that. Um, and then obviously, if you make Success Club 5 right now, we're getting tons of access customers. So Success Club 5 is getting you way more than it used to. Um, and then I, we're making $39, like $39, $48, or almost $40 bucks in each one. Um, you know, just if they have um, are interested in the access, we're, they're paying us. On all the customers that I've gotten that I've never got paid on before for the last seven years, they're all getting, and these are just the free customers for making Success Club 5. They're all getting access. And I mean, I'm getting sometimes eight and nine a week, you guys. Uh, they're signing up for access. I don't even know who they are. I've never talked to them. Um, that's huge. I mean, that can really have a lot of income for your family. Success Club 10, obviously, you know, the free Shakeology customers um, really, really add up. Um, we're getting probably about three to four um, sometimes five and six at the beginning of the year. Right now, we're getting, um, just for making Success Club 10, um, a lot of those people you know, stay on it for a long time. We can transfer them into coaches. Um, I'm hold on just a minute. Grace, can you do that later, please? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> um, can't concentrate. Okay. So we're going to talk about um, David Martin, one of the biggest things he said, um, is he signs up everyone as a coach. Um, Grace, please. I need you to come back down, honey, in like 20 minutes, please. <laughs> okay. David Martin signs up everyone as a coach. And I understand, like, I think it's, I mean, I, I sign up customers. I don't think you have to, it's your business. I'm letting you know that all the top coaches sign up everybody as coaches. Um, you do not get rich with retail um, at all. Like, 
And the average person is going to stay with Shakeology if they're paying $97 for it, $99 for it versus $132. Um, even if they're paying that $15.95 fee, Rob and I were talking about the other day, it's, it's something in their brain that's like, I'm getting it for $97, $2 shipping. And, and you get people like that stay with Shakeology forever. Um, they stay with it for a really long time because it's just so much easier to have it in their head that they're only paying 97 for it versus 132, even if they're paying that membership fee of 15.95 because it's two separate things. Um, it's, they're just staying on it much longer. Um, and then not only that, but all my best coaches were discount coaches, right? Like if you were to Gracie, I'm serious. I'm on the video right now, honey. Um, if all, um, if everyone said, um, do you think you'd ever want to do this as a business when you're signing someone up? 99.9% .9 of them are going to say no. They're going to say no. Like, they're not going to unless they're really, really familiar with Beachbody. Um, if they're really like Melinda, you and, and Brenna, you guys were really familiar with Beachbody. They've been talking to you guys for a while. Um, that's different. But if they're not super familiar with Beachbody and they don't really know, they're not familiar with the products, um, most people are just, they need to know, they need to believe in the product, they need to, um, they need to make sure they like it, right? They need to make sure it works. And then you talk to them after you sign up as a coach, you talk to them about um, doing something um, on the business end, like that they can start, you know, sharing this with other people and helping out their friends, helping out acquaintances. Um, and, then, and then it goes from there. But um, if you ask people when you get ready to sign them up, do um, you think you'd ever want to do this as a business? Probably 99.9 .9 are going to say no. Um, and then nobody's going to sign up anybody. And then you're just going to have a bunch of retail. And we all know retail goes out of business. Um, when you look at the mall, like, guess, I mean, retail goes, your doors get shut down eventually. Um, but when you build a team, um, and you're this, you know, when you build a team of people that are helping out other people and they're doing the same thing, um, and everybody's getting a discount, everybody's happy, and um, they know that they're getting like the best deal they can, then um, you have a much better shot at if, of, of um, keeping people. And of course, people are going to quit, um, but you have a better shot if they're getting a, a good discount of them staying. Um, does that make sense, you guys? Not if you guys have any questions. Uh, like I said, it's your own business, but I noticed two years ago, um, Beachbody, and this is what he said, David Martin, um, Kevin, I asked Grace if she could go upstairs because I'm on a team call and make sure I have a live video. And then, um, and then I'll be done in like, like pretty soon, 20 minutes. I can't hear with the, with the garbage bag and everything. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, we're having a late start tonight. Um, so where was I? Um, Sorry about that, I lost my train of thought. Okay, sorry you guys. I might need to do day calls and just record them because when my kids are home. Um, so when Anita Myra and David Martin, all, all the, you know, everybody that talks about, like they sign up, they're all like in the top rank and they're making really, really good money. They sign, like I said, they they sign up everybody as coaches. Um, I'm trying to think. I lost my train of thought just now. It was really, really important. I couldn't hear because my kids were in the kitchen. Um, I think, Christy. I think you were mentioning how a couple of years ago, uh, the company yes. Yes, started right. telling us different things. Yes. That's and thank you of, for that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, so basically, um, David Martin was saying, Beachbody makes more money if we sell retail. Like, if we sell retail, Beachbody ends up making more money than if we, because they don't have to pay cycle bonuses. That's where the money ends up really happening. 
eventually when you guys start signing up people as coaches, as you start really cycling, because then they sign up people and they sign up people. Um, and so even if they're a customer, Shannon Osby signed up with me. She's a five-star diamond coach. She signed up with me um, as a, as, as for the discount. I didn't even know she signed up. And she said, I signed up for the discount. I want the best deal. I didn't even tell her about it, you guys. She just went online and found out that if she signed up as a coach, she would get Shakeology for a lot less. And so she said, I just signed up for the discount. I want to work at his business. And I was like, okay. And then like four months later or three months later, she went crazy. And she went top 10 in the whole company. I was Shannon Asby. My PS coach went top 10. She was number six in the whole company for the month of November and December because she started seeing results. She saw success. She believed in the product. She invited, she signed up 50 people <laughs> to do a challenge with her. 50. Okay. And like, it was just crazy. And she just helping all kinds of people lose weight. And then that's where she began. Um, my whole point is, um, is that a lot of people will say, I don't want to, um, I don't want to do it as a business. I mean, Shannon Osby said that some of the top coaches say that, um, Lindsay Matway, um, you know, which is David's PS coach. She handed in her cancellation and he said, what are you doing? And she said, I just have too much Her daughter. Um, she had a lot of issues with her daughter and, um, she has a lot of physical disabilities and he, and he said, I believe in you, like, stay with this. And I mean, now look at her, like she's, she's doing amazing. So, um, so what they told us, um, two years ago, cause I've been to every leadership and I was invited to last year's leadership, but I spoke at Trisha's funeral instead, which is uh, much more important. And, um, and so, um, what they told us two leaderships ago, I've been to seven is they said, stop signing up discount coaches. We want you to start, you know what I mean? Only sign them up if you know for sure they want to do it as a business. And so, you know, I did exactly that. And then I found out that all the, the top, a lot of the top coaches were like, we didn't do that because we knew what we were doing was working. It was making our coaches money. And, and, and then I realized, because our team was signing up like, 60 to 80 coaches a month. So, I mean, we signed up when the 21 day fix came out, we signed up 70 coaches in one week. You guys, our team did 70 in one week. And then when that message came out with corporate and they said, everybody just needs to, to not sign up, you know, just, let's just sign up people who want to for sure do it as a business or people don't know if they want to do it as a business. Um, and a lot of times, if they if they're starting to see results and everything and they're not already signed up and they've been paying full price for Shakeology the whole time, then they're kind of like, I don't know if I even want to do it. Or what's the point? Or you know what I mean? And they could have been in a much higher spot if you would have signed them up five months ago or three months ago. And so I talked to the head trainer at Beachbody and I said, I've noticed um I really feel like our momentum of our team when they were signing up coaches um like they were. Um, I felt like it kind of, I don't know, like, I feel like everybody's signing up customers now. And, um, and he said, I'm really, you know, I feel really bad. We, we made a mistake. We made a mistake. Probably, you know, we probably, you know, don't do that. <laughs> sign up, you know, sign up coaches. Obviously if somebody, um, if they really are like, I really need to try Shakeology. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Um, then you can just sign them up the month later or two months later to make sure they like it. That's totally, but I just, I don't know. I, David Martin's like, you need to be honest with your coaches and you need to tell them like how to truly make money. They have to think not quick $32 retail. You have to think big. Um, and, and just think of, um, an example of I've signed up plenty of PS coaches that just did it for the discount, but then they signed up total rock stars that like exploded extreme team. Um, and, and if they wouldn't have signed up for the discount, then those people would not be on our team. So it's like, it's so important. And then maybe they start doing it as a business because their coach that they signed up below them is just rocking. And they're like, gosh, maybe there's something to this. Um, and then he just said to read personal development daily. Um, 
you need to, we need to work hard. We need to, we need to make sure we're having a good work ethic no matter what. Um, I mean, we know in our head, like if we're like, gosh, I'm really not making much, you know, I'm not really feel like I'm doing much and I haven't made success, but you know, like personally, um, how many time you're putting in and how much time you can put in, you know, like if you're truly giving it your all, we all do, you know what I mean? And, and those who work hard end up making a lot of money, you know what I mean? And so if, if you do know in your mind that, um, how much you're doing and you have to have a huge, you do have to have a big why, like, why are you doing this? Yes. It's to get fit, get healthy. But would you like to, would you like to pay off your house? Would you like to get out of debt? Would you like to, you know what I mean? Be the woman of Proverbs. And, and she, she worked diligently. I can't even talk right now, but she worked all hours. You know what I mean? To provide for her family. And she, you know, she would like sew fabric and everything and sew them, you know, and, and sell them in the merch. She was a merchant, but I kind of look at it like that. Like we're like a, we're, we're providing. Um, and the men on here, you know what I mean? You guys are providing for your family. And not only that, you're taking care of the temple that God gave you. Um, just had somebody else in the call. Awesome. So anyways, um, I just think it's really, really important that we really take a good look at ourselves and say, am I working like I should? Um, you know what I mean? Like, am I doing this company justice? Am I helping people like I should? Um, and just, am I getting, am I following up with people like I should? Am I getting back with people that I talked to six months ago? Um, or did I just kind of forget about them, you know? Um, because they matter, you know? Um, so follow up. Um, one of the big things that he taught me, and I never thought about before, and maybe you guys have, um, but he said, um, and he taught Lindsay Matway this when she first started, and this is what she does, and Melanie, and Melanie Mitro, top coach in the company. Um, <clears throat> Melanie, I don't know if you know it, but she made it big with her blog. It was her blog, and it's not that fancy. There's a lot of misspelled words, um, but she made it big just from the simple blog. It doesn't have to be perfect, because if, he, if it's not perfect, then people think they might be able to do it. Um, so it, there's a lot of truth in that, but okay. So I'm going to give you an example. Okay. It's homeschool mom. Okay. You're a homeschool mom. I talked to Tamara today. Um, she has a lot of children. <laughs> she homeschools a lot of kids and I, you know, cause I knew she couldn't get on the call tonight. So we talked earlier today. She loves to write. And so I'm like, she could do a funnel. A funnel, like I have a name of a funnel system. Lori, you know, she was doing, she has the funnel system of emails. So you could put like um, a, a blurb in there about your story. Um, you could do one funnel or you could do a blog. Um, they have tons of free blogs. And you could do like Blogspot that's free, 100% free, doesn't cost anything. But you could do one on all homeschooling. Like how you manage to say sane homeschooling those, all those kids at those ages and how you get your workout and how can you prepare your meals and take care of yourself and still homeschool. And then you post your blog on every homeschool site in the world and have everybody following you. And then you invite them to join your team. Think about how many people you can, I'm not talking about a few people that see your posts on Facebook. This could get huge. And then autism. I, you know, um, Jennifer, um, you have a son that's autistic. Um, you know, you, I mean, she would, she could do a funnel or a blog that talks about how she's helped her son that's, that's autistic and her day in and day out of her life, um, with, uh, with a son with aut autism and she could post in all the autism sites I and mean, there's several that aren't even on Facebook. She could do Instagram stories. Um, or Instagram posts and, and tag autism and have a whole following of other parents around the world that have kids with autism. And then you ask them, hey, let's take care of ourselves. We need this. We need to take care of us so we can take care of them better. 
and and then you and then you're like let's join my team let's do this we're a family join my team you know and then you have tons of people that you're working with versus like a small amount you know a little bit a little amount on facebook um i mean it's just it's just endless so like um this is another thing that i love i was like this is brilliant you know how we have a hard time with i mean it's easy to sign up somebody for the discount and then we take them from the discount coach to selling it when they start seeing value. I thought this is brilliant. This is what he said. What about doing a blog or a funnel and just share your story? Share your story, what coaching's did for you. Share, your, like, share exactly what it's did in your life and share your story on the blog and write about what coaching's done for you. Um, I know Melinda's got certified in a bunch of different things. Um, it, it might not even be a weight loss physical thing, but it might just be how much better you feel about yourself, um, how your endorphins are up the roof because you're taking care of yourself. Um, just you could list different foods and stuff, but you share your journey and how, like, I mean, it could be anything, like just with your beach body coaching experience. And then you share that everywhere because there's so many moms out there, so many dads out there that would, I mean, you don't, you, I mean, gosh, they'd probably like to just even make an extra hundred dollars a month, $200 a month. And if they're not, you know, if you're not, not even, if you're not doing that, because this call's recorded, <laughs> um, they might just want a community of people to help them get fit and a family that we can all support each other and they can get the 25% off and eventually it can turn into an income. Um, and so that's a great way you share your blog on, you know, with different people, or you get this in a funnel system um, where it's sending out an, an e, you know, a, um, a letter every month to certain people. Like you could send out a letter to all the homeschool people. You could send out a letter to all the autistic um, parents that have autistic children. And I'm just giving examples of if that's, you know, I mean, you can pick. Um, what you are passionate about, you know, um, you could send one out for your stories on your, um, on your coaching. I'm just giving you a few examples. Um, but the secret is, <laughs> is, well, I mean, that's kind of a secret, but the secret is to sign up coaches. Um, and I'm not saying that I want you guys to stop signing up coach or customers. If that's what you feel comfortable with I'm letting you know though that where the money is truly is signing up coaches um, that it's people helping people that help people that help people that help people that help people <laughs> you know what I mean that's what it is um, and we got to stop looking at that $30 commission um, and look at the big picture of, of just saying you know what I'm gonna really I'm just I'm gonna I'm going to really change America. I'm going to change obesity one person at a time and give them the best deal on Shakeology. And then those people give them the best deal on Shakeology and so on. And we just totally rock it. You know, Rob, do you want to talk? I don't know if you can hear me. Rob, you there? He's in the car. I can see his name. Okay, you guys. Rob, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I'm going to let you um, talk, and then we'll open up for questions. Okay. So um, I'm hoping you can hear me okay. Um, just, to, just to recap, uh, you, you touched on quite a few different things. And I think in the, um, in the beginning, we had a nice Emerald Factory going where um, it was um, – signing up people as coaches and then getting them off on the right start so that um, in spite of them, we were trying to set them up to succeed quicker than pop quicker than um, just like, you know, shoving them off and just saying, okay, now you're coach and I'll figure it out. And it's like, no, let's work on getting you to Emerald so you can qualify for this and that you can start getting cycle bonuses and so on and so forth. But also, when you have people looking at you as their coach and they are a coach and then they start working with other people that they have influenced and inspired, 
that solidifies their um, commitment to themselves that they made originally to get back into shape or get ripped or, or whatever they were trying to do at the time. But in that, that inspired this like uh, emerald factory that we had going on, which inspired growth, multiple levels. And, um, and that goes hand in hand with um, in the, in the beginning when we were, when we were um, getting people started as like discount coaches, like I started as a discount coach, uh, didn't really think too much about building the business, uh, didn't feel like building a business, didn't even really um, envision being a successful business, business owner within, within a few years or anything like that. I just wanted the stuff that I knew I was going to get anyway for 25% off. And on top of that, everybody that I was going to inspire, I didn't want to send them to Jeff. I didn't want to send them to Jason or I didn't want to send them to the, the Beachbody website because I could just send them to my site and get a little bit of, of cash flow and whatever. But um, when we were signing them up as uh, discount coaches, it gives them the best deal. Like you're doing the best thing that you can for them by saving them a little bit money um, every single month. And that commits them. Oh, okay. What was that? <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I had a little screen pop up. I don't know if you guys did. Um, but when you're, when you're doing your best for them and then they're saving a little bit of money, um, it's like they're that much more solidified into the system. And when they plug into the systems that are proven to work, they're that much more likely to succeed. It's just, it's common sense. So when people started saying, well, let's, let's stop signing up discount coaches, that didn't make any sense to me because to me that was giving them a higher chance of success. And then they, at the same time, they were in a position to um, make a little bit of money because, I mean, let's face it, like if I sign up, if I have someone that's ready to go and they want to get started on some kind of program and start using Shakeology every day and stuff, um, they're going to have results. And then when their friends and people start noticing their results, I don't want them sending those people to me. I don't want to make 30 bucks off of their friends or whatever. I want them to be in a position to help those people out themselves. It just makes sense. And then when that happens, they're even more, so, they're even more solid in, in their commitment and their resolve to themselves to succeed in their original goals. And then they have brand new goals because then they're like, oh my gosh, this is actually a business that works. You know, I don't have to have people over for a Tupperware party or whatever, you know, it just, it's, it's something that, is referral based system where it's just talking to people and then they're noticing what you're doing and it's working for you. And then sure, if it works for my friend, Rob, then of course I can do it. You know, so it just makes sense to sign people up as coaches and it pushes everybody's business farther. And then it gives them a business of their own that will build organically just by doing what they already are doing in the first place. And if we're just out there like signing up customer after customer, taking a little tiny commission, it's like a one-time thing. Who cares about that? Like if you're just in this to, to make a couple of little piddly commissions here and there, fine, but you're not really looking long-term. You know, you're not going after the, the, the uh, full potential of what this company has to offer. And to me, it's just leaving money on the table. So um, everybody that I talk to, uh, is a potential coach. Everybody that I talk to gets the talk about signing up as a coach as compared or in, as it compares to just being a customer. Um, not just to save money, but to best, to best serve them long-term and short-term, I guess to the full capabilities of what the company has to offer. It just makes sense in every single way. So I don't know if people are still out there like, not wanting to sign up people as discount coaches for whatever reason, but it's just a faulty thinking as far as I'm concerned. Um, I mean, I don't know. Do people really get into this just to sell, like just to sell stuff all the time, like to make a couple of commissions every month or something, but not really build a long-term long lasting residual income. 
I mean, I, I don't really know if, if people do that. It, to me, that seems silly. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, were, were there some other things that David had spoke about that you wanted to cover that I can touch on a little bit? Um, he just talked about Lindsay Matway's system. Um, he talked about you know, um, doing a GSR call with, in which Jeffrey on Brewster, he's going to start doing, because we can't all do everything, so we're all kind of taking turns doing stuff, but he's going to do a, start doing all the GSR calls again, him and Jason Diebel, um, for everybody who signs up, um, and then if you want, I can do one for our team, um, but he's going to do a big one for our team, um, but she would do a GSR call um, and then she would set up, um, you can have an automatic email get set up. This is like long-term, like vision that you guys could set up a, an email um, where it just automatically sends to your coach. You can even do that through your back office. You can pick um, your coaches that you want to send it to, and then it, will get e and then it will get emailed to them. But it could be a welcome email with all the trainings and that's what I have posted at the top of extreme team page. I literally mail now, I email all my new coaches what I have pinned up on extreme team. And I just have it pinned up because I don't know like who's getting it and who's seeing it. And so I just want everyone in our downline to see it. But I spent a lot of time, um, you know, I had to redo everything because the whole back office has changed. So I redid everything to make it easier. And I have all the links in there of how to set up your back office, everything. Um, and that's what I send my new coaches. Um, and then the coaches that are discount coaches that are just now getting back into it and they, they're used to the old website, I've now, I've been emailing that to them so that way they can set it all up. And then actually, I mean, you guys all have a life. And I'd rather have you guys spend your time inviting people and getting back with people and spending time with your family than wasting time on training people over the phone. So this is just a great way to, you can just email them on, on what's on the pin post on Extreme or make it your, or you can change it if you don't like it. And in that way, it teaches everybody exactly what to do. And then when they go through that, Lindsay Matway, when they go through her email, and, and she doesn't do another call with them until they go emerald. Okay. So she sends them how to go emerald. Like you need two people, one on the left, one on the right, and it automatically gets, goes on those legs. And then if they go emerald, she does another call with them, and it's only 10 minutes long. It's 10 minutes. Um, and then, and then, and then um, you know, because she's out there recruiting. That's what we all should be doing really is recruiting. Um, finding more people to help, um, getting back with them. Um, and then so, and then when they get to Diamond, she unlocks her leadership training, but they have to get to Diamond to get it. Um, and it's basically everything that I already worked with you guys on. It's nothing fancy, but it's just kind of a carrot. Like, I'm not going to work with you anymore until you go Diamond. You know what I mean? Where I don't, I don't do that. Rob doesn't do that. Jeff doesn't do that. We treat everybody the same, but we don't want it to hurt anyone by not thinking that we get, we don't want you guys to, to excel and be okay with um, the position that you're in. We want you guys to be able to be able to help out your family financially in a big way. Um, but anyways, I go to all the same leadership she does. We have all, and I've actually have, I'm actually in her training system. I have all the passwords and everything. I've seen it. Um, it's not anything that you guys don't know. I think I actually gave it to you, Rob, a long time ago. I like your beard, dude. My husband would think that was sweet. <laughs> I like it. Um, so it's not like any secret or anything or anything she's training. She's just basically um, teaching. She's creating people to be emeralds and because she's so busy recruiting she doesn't have time to be on the phone with everybody for like an hour at a time um, she just emails the training to them and that's what most of the what most top coaches do um, we he's, he spoke on personal development he said man if you could do anything he said really really 
be good at doing personal development every day. He said, become a Tony Robbins, you know, and um, he does free groups in his areas, um, his, lo his local area. He, he'll do ads for like he, that he's running like a Tony Robbins group or Dave Ramsey group. Like that's what he does. And he gets tons and tons of people um, in his groups. And then he recruits them to work on their physical. You know, you get it? Like, and then he like works and they all sign up to be on his team because they think he's great because he's just taught them about Financial Peace University or whatever. Um, but that's the same thing with like homeschooling or um, it's, it's really just picking your thing. Um, or if you have a, you know, it's just picking your thing and, and then knowing that ever in the United States, there's going to be several thousands upon thousands upon millions of people that have a child with autism. There's going to be thousands upon thousands of families at home school. There's going to be thousands upon thousands of people that like personal development. So you just have to pick like your two or three things. And, 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 and that's a good way to meet other people versus just hoping that somebody sees your post on Facebook. And I'm not saying that we don't change what we're doing. Um, if it's working for you, um, it's not like you never, but I'm saying that this would get us a huge tons and tons of people to be able to put on your team and, and really create just this amazing um, experience for people where they're going to, they're going to want to join your family. Cause that's what it is. They're joining your family. We're family. You know, we are a family and what we have is amazing. Um, and people want that. People want what we have. And, um, and so that's just going to be able to put you in front of a lot more people. Rob, I'll let you. Okay. So let me just touch on that. Um, I don't know if you guys know who Mindy Wender is, but, um, you know, a friend of ours up in Northern Michigan, she's making probably well over a million dollars a year with Beachbody right now. And, uh, some years ago, um, one of her young children, uh, Turns out her, one of her young kids has autism. And I guarantee you a huge chunk of that income is from her reaching out to people in that, um, that group of people, okay, other parents, um, and reaching out to them and helping them in, multi, in a multitude of ways. But it's because she is there. She's involved in those groups actively. That is a huge part of her life with her child, okay, and her husband and her other kids, her kid. and. She, so she's helping these people that are that she can relate to. They have that that thing in common, and as they're going through that uh, challenge, I guess if you will, and um, you know, working with that and figuring out uh, how best to help their kids, she's helping these people physically, financially, emotionally, spiritually, in every way, and that's a huge chunk of her income just out there helping people. Okay, um, so I mean, it, it always behooves you to find your tribe, find your people that you relate to, whatever it is, and, you know, go out there and make friends. This is all we're doing. We're just making friends and we're, we're, <laughs> we're taking care of our own health and fitness. It's never really that complicated. It is just, you're doing what is good for you physically, maybe mentally and emotionally by exercising and eating right and learning these things and then sharing it with people that you care about. Okay, and, the, and, and a lot of the most successful coaches out there are sharing it with people that they care about that are in the same situation that they, that they have going on in their, the rest of their life, the other part of their life. It's just a huge market, and you owe it to those people to reach out and help them. And when you're talking to those people, you owe it to them to do them the favor of getting them to sign up as a coach so that they can be positioned right, so that they can make an income on the side, they can save a little bit of money. And like I said before, it really just locks them in to um, committing to themselves, you know, to whatever that was in the beginning that inspired them to make those changes. And let me give you just the best example that I've ever seen of why you would sign up someone that wants to just order a product, but you say, look, I don't want this commission from you. I want you to save 25%. I know you're going to keep this up. I want you to save some money every month, and I want you to be in a position to make a little bit of money yourself because I don't want your friends coming to me. And that the, the best example I can think of right now is all of you guys, okay? All of you guys are on this Zoom call because 
some at some point along the way you bumped into Christy Moore or one of her coaches. At some point she bumped into a guy who knew a guy that I had worked with at school that wanted to just order P90X from me and I wouldn't let him. You know, and back then all we had was P90X and Insanity and I think Turbo Fire had just come out. Shakeology was brand new. Nobody even really knew what it was. But I was like, look, dude, you're going to sign up as a coach because I see how you are. You're committed. All of your friends, your wife is here joining us doing this stuff. I'm not going to let you just send me all these people. You're going to sign up as a coach right now. He got signed up. Sure, whatever. He might have flaked out in the next six months or whatever, but he brought a guy on that did the same thing that he wanted to start with P90X, and it was the same thing. Look, dude, you need to be a coach, period. That's just all there is to it because you're going to commit more, and you're going to be able to help these people. And one of those people that he ended up hooking up with and, and, and helping was Christy. You know, and then, I mean, long story short, tens of thousands of people out there in the world, lives have changed because, you know, I was taught to give that opportunity to other people, not just keep it for myself for a quick 30 buck commission, which is very short sighted. You know, do people the favor of making sure that they are aware that their best interest is to just sign up as a Beachbody coach, period. You know, because you never know when that dude you sign up signs up a buddy of his that bumps into a Christy Moore along the way. You know, that's that. That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I think that's, I mean, that's, that's awesome. I mean, because that's how it happens, right? Yeah. Yeah. The, I mean, it's like, design. yeah, I mean, you never know who you're going to sign up tomorrow. It might not be the per but then they sign up somebody who just helps a lot of people, um, and it changes everyone's. It just changes everyone's life for the better. And uh, Mindy Winder, by the way, when she first started, um, she was her family. They were living on twenty three thousand dollars a year. Twenty three thousand a year. They were living in the smallest city that's in the UP of Michigan. They were living in the smallest city in the United States. Okay. And she did this and she wanted to be able to help her family. So what I want you guys to do, um, and David Martin really talks about this. And I feel like this is really what I would like to work on. Um, what I'm going to really try to work on from here on out is uh, making sure we're, out, we're doing personal development, but not only that, but having a really strong why, you know, really digging deep with you guys and just, and it, like making it so you guys want to frame it you know what I mean like what is this company gonna do for your family what is gonna push you to keep going it, it can change everything for your family you guys you change everything and don't say it you know yeah it's, it happens to them but a second happened to me and things have been really rough and I try and people say no and no 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 you need a why that makes you press forward that just makes you work hard. And I'm not saying that you work so hard that you don't spend time with your kids and your husband or, or your wife. I mean, we all have to set hours that we work, but truly be honest with ourselves. Are we putting in the time to invite people when we're out in the mall or what, you know what I mean? We're wearing like beach body gear. Are you talking to people at the store when you see that they're in the health aisle? Um, and you know what I'm saying? Like, just are we, are we doing these extra things? If you want to really grow big, then you could do a funnel or a blog on what you're passionate about. You know, and I look at I look at Rob. He graduated with a nursing degree. I mean, do you know like 90% of nurses are obese? Seriously, they don't take care of themselves because they're so busy taking care of everyone else. So what about, I mean, if somebody's a nurse, and then they can start up a blog on, you know, taking care of themselves and, and making sure that they take care of themselves and, and how they find time to take care of themselves because nurses work crazy, off, crazy hours, you know, a lot of them do. And so um, I'm just saying, like, there's just so much. I mean, it's not just homeschooling or I'm just, I'm naming just a couple things, but we all have a couple things that we're passionate about that, like Rob said, that have nothing to do with Beachbody, 
but we can find those people and help them. And yeah, you do. I mean, we owe that. You owe that to them to find them and, um, and help them. So I'm going to um, open it up for questions. Rob, I, you were totally right on. Oh, my gosh. Good message. You are very Sometimes. honest. <laughs> Sometimes I hit the target. Yeah. No, David. Hey, so, yeah. What? Um, personal development. I think for a lot of people, eventually they, um, they, they might come to realize, like, they have to start taking this seriously. Like, I know there are some people out there that just sort of build it like uh, – like all la di da, like sort of accidentally fall into a bunch of business. But when you take this seriously and you treat it like a business, and one of the personal development things that um, that I enjoy, it's a very small book. It's called Go Pro uh, by uh, Eric Worre, and um, it's like you're you're in network marketing. You are like you have to treat this uh, as a serious business, and you have to just understand what we all we we are all about. Referral marketing, network marketing. I love to network. I meet people every day that I that I can uh, inspire to make a change in multiple ways in life. But um, GoPro, that book is a good is a good little introduction to actually how you should behave as a professional. Like when you are when you put your beach body hat on and you're like, okay, I'm ready to go. Like you set your nurse cap down or whatever else you have going on in life, you're like, okay, it's time to become a professional beach body coach right now. And that book will give you some easy steps to actually t start taking this seriously and, uh, and, and turn this into a, a business. If that's what you want, if it's just a hobby, that's cool. Understand it's never going to pay you more than a hobby will. Um, you know, I have a friend that knits together hats and stuff. That's neat. You know, couple hours makes 20 bucks or whatever. That's cool. It's a hobby. She's always going to have to be knitting though to make that money. Network marketing and it's genius pays you, you know, week after week when you build that business up, you know, no matter how many hats you knit or maybe you only knit the same amount of hats every week, but then your income grows up or grows. Um, oh, and there was, what did, what did you, um, I, I was going to touch on what you had just said, but now I forgot what it was because I'm rambling again. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I don't remember. Do you guys remember, <laughs> Brenna? I don't know. That's fine. I've said so many things. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, you know what was cool? Actually, the reason that I was late is because I stopped in Frankenmuth to have a drink with a friend of mine that happened to be in Frankenmuth. And I, I had just gone back to Davison. I was on my way back to Saginaw. So I thought, yeah, okay, cool. I'll go meet you in Frankenmuth. And Frankenmuth, I bumped into this guy that knew me at Baker when I was in nursing school, right before I was in nursing school. And I was the uh, P90X guy at school. And he remembered me, and he's been watching me this whole time. And uh, he's kind of said some stuff like, yeah, I guess I should have started with you back then or whatever. And now I'm just doing this. He's a waiter at uh, the brewery. And um, I mean, it's never too late, but it's really amazing when you start. And the reason I bring this up, Chris, is we, we have been talking about like the old days. And recently, Jeff and I have been talking about the old days and like taking it back to the beginning and what we used to do, you know. And, um, and then the third thing that happened reminded me of the old days is running into this guy. And I'll be damned if he isn't going to sign up with me. I mean, the guy was put in my path for a reason. And just like I said to you guys, I owe it to him, you know, to help him give him that opportunity again that I gave him back then with all the other people that started with me back then. He was the same, you know, just one of the other people at school. And he chose one way. The others chose a different path. So I owe it to him. And now I'm excited to look him back up on Facebook and reconnect and give him that opportunity again. I owe it to him. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> I remembered. <laughs> All right. And I, um, I had somebody, I took Zumba nine years ago before I started Beachbody, and I never lost a pound because we do Zumba, and then we go out for margaritas and burritos. So <laughs> we probably would burn like 350 calories, and then we'd all go out for a big, huge burrito and a, and a, and uh, you know, we all had, it was, yeah, it was fun, but we're all like, dang it, we're not losing anything. <laughs> 
So um, anyways, I, um, the gal that referred me, we never, she never went out with us afterwards. Um, and she was quite thin. It's because she never went out with burritos, I think, afterwards with us. Um, but I, I sent her a friend request um, when I was in Georgia and I was starting to do beach body because we used to do Zumba together once a week. And, um, you know, I haven't seen her in nine years and she messaged me yesterday and she said, just give this as an example, why it's so important to everybody you've ever even met at all, or even their friends of friends instead of a friend request. Um, because, um, she said, Hey, you're the first person I thought of. She, I have a friend that goes, cause she now teaches Zumba. She goes to my Zumba class and, um, and she would like, she needs a coach. She wants a coach because she said she's not, she's not losing any weight working out at the gym. So I, um, she, the gal called me and she's buying a challenge pack for me at 11 o'clock tomorrow. She's blown away that they get, they look, she, they look, her and her husband are so giddy because they looked online and he's like, honey, you can do country line dancing and I can do body beast. And she's like, oh, honey, you can be my beast. And they were like joking around and like, it's hilarious. And then, um, and then I talked to her, I was like, um, I was like, I will sign you up and waive your fee, waive your membership fee. So you can get Shakeology at my cost. I said, because I, you know, that's what really helped me out with Shakeology. And I want to be able to pay it forward. And how would you like that? She's like, oh my gosh, that would be great. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's helping another person. And then they help another person. And it's so funny. She's like, will you be, you can be my beast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're so cute. And they're, he's a youth pastor. Um, but it's just really neat because it's just from somebody I met nine years ago that referred me because I'm consistent with Beachbody. I haven't went anywhere. I signed up seven years ago and she just, I was the first person she thought of. So I'm just using that as an example, how important it is to be consistent. Let everybody know what you're doing. Um, right. It's not a pampered chef thing, you guys. I mean, this is, this is serious. Like our whole family lives on Beachbody. Like we, um, hard work. God has blessed our business because I worked hard and, and I believed in, I believed in you guys, um, because we're all a family and because I believed in you, um, so much, you know, this is why I'm on the call because I believe in you guys so much and I know that we can be the very best and we can just we can get so many more people on our team you know what I mean and I believe in you guys and I know we can do this so husband's gonna want to grow his beard like you like yours again <laughs> I gotta grow it down here because the stuff up here is vanishing <laughs> I like that. Okay, do you guys have any questions, Jennifer, um, Laura, um, Brenda, Melinda? Do you guys have any questions? You guys can take yourself off mute if you want. Do you guys have any? We talked about a lot of stuff. Do you have any questions? No, I just got to get my butt back in gear. <laughs> I need you to write your why for me, a why that would make you cry, that every time you write it, you would start crying. That's what you okay. need to do. I'll do it after my son's doctor's appointment tomorrow morning. Okay, perfect. <laughs> my, uh, my son broke his collarbone this last weekend, so he's got a one-week checkup tomorrow. Dang. Boys. Oh. Boys. Melinda, do you have any questions? Da -da -da, uh, no, I was trying to get to the mute button. Did you feel like, <laughs> do you feel like this call helps you? Yes, I'm, I'm in the same boat with Brenna. Just need to get my butt moving. The longer, the hour workouts kind of take up more of my availability time. So the last 80 days hasn't really helped me on that boat. But you know what? It has helped your business because you're getting more and more fit. Wow. Yes, but I'm not able to do any of the, the other stuff. Don't you? Don't you take your kid to like Kung Fu or something every day? Yes, and I was watching videos and talking to people during that time as well. Yeah, I would get all those Kung Fu moms and dads. <laughs> You're like, you guys should come over. I'm doing this workout. 
Well, that, you know what? It's kind of weird, but like that's literally how I started my business. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, I'm going to go do this workout in the gym. You should come. And then nobody showed up. And then one person showed up. <laughs> and then two showed up. And then there was three of us inviting people. And it's just, I don't know. Like, it didn't matter to me because I was going to get my workout done. That's that's what I was doing. Mm-hmm. But I knew eventually somebody would be like, you know, if I kept asking them every day, eventually they're going to have to stop being a pansy and join me in the gym. <laughs> so, yeah, do that. You can I'm, invite them out, Melinda, for a group. You can invite them into a group even if they can't go over to your house. And yeah. invite everybody in a group and just say, hey, let's do this. You know, let's, I've been doing this and I love it. And, um, you know, a lot of people that have kids, um, mm-hmm. they, don't, they don't make time for themselves. I will tell you, um, my daughter has dance three nights a week um, and then four nights a week, one, one week a month. And when I go in there, there's a – There's a whole bunch of chairs and every one of those chairs has got a butt in the chair. And most of those butts take up way more space on the chair than (laughs) they do. And those parents, now sometimes they're, they're there for over an hour and a half. So Mm -hmm. recently, a couple days ago, uh, I was informed that there's open space at the dance studio that no one is using while all the girls are up there. So Gus, who's going to go talk to the owner of the studio and say, and say, look, I'm going to come up here uh, twice a week while the girls are in dance and anybody can join me if they want to. And I'm going to take my little laptop or my tablet, just like I used to do way back in the day. And I'm going to set it up on a chair or a bench and say, okay, everybody, let's follow this as best we can. And then Autumn or Sagi or somebody else is going to kick our heinies. And guess what? Eventually, somebody's going to be like, this is cool. I think I need to do this more often. And then I can say, well, you know, I happen to have, you know, all of this ready and waiting for you. It's all done. You just have to plug in. You know, side note, I get my workout done in a period of time that I normally – would just be sitting there minding my own business, trying to avoid dance mom drama. (laughs) So, yes. I mean, I'll let you guys know how it goes, but anybody that has to take a child somewhere, Mm -hmm. I mean, it makes more sense to stay there rather than go back home, things like that. Mm -hmm. That time is very valuable. It's a perfect sit down on your phone time to do some work or chit chat, make some friends, invite them to a workout or something like that. So and all I'm saying is that's how I started my business. And if you guys want to have that kind of thing going on too, maybe you can give that a shot. Mm-hmm. That's super smart. Super smart. Can be fun. Yeah. And extreme fun, especially if they're sitting there for two hours. Yeah. Might as well work out. It's ridiculous. Yeah. They're just sitting there talking. Mm-hmm. And if you're just sitting there for two hours, you're just getting fatter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it when I go in and I see the McDonald's bags um, <laughs> with, the, with the Happy Meals. Um, so that tells me that somebody thought that mm-hmm. feeding their kid McDonald's before their, their dance practice was a good idea. And I just think, wow, there's so much to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember being that guy. Mm -hmm. You've got 10 minutes to feed your kid. Hmm. Yes. Guess we're swinging through McDonald's on the way and getting nugs. You know, I remember doing that. I didn't know any better. So I know there's a lot of good that I get to do up there. It's just a matter of uh, prioritizing that over what what I wanted to do during that hour and a half. I was, my mom was a single mom since I was seven and I was raised at McDonald's. I think I went through the McDonald's drive through like three days a week and I was a chunky monkey. I was a chunky monkey when I was younger. (laughs) uh, 
I was, and um, but I was like, dude, like I'm so spoiled. Like it's gonna be I was like three days a week. We'd eat all the fries before we get home because they tasted the best, you know, in the car. And then we'd like eat our sandwich at home. <laughs> But, it was probably yeah. real food back then. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. I feel like it's not even real food anymore. Yeah. No, okay. it's not. Like it sits a big man can sit sit on a counter for twenty years and never go bad. That's yucky. Scary. Mm -hmm. Very scary. Jennifer, Laura, do you guys yeah. have any questions at all? Just taking it all in. Do you feel like this helped you? Yes, definitely. Definitely. And like I said, there's so much on the page that I'm going back and listening to. And I messaged a ton of people today. So it got that rolling from my last post. Um, I think I'm up to 145 likes now. <laughs> so, I'm trying to, so I'm trying to reach out. I already got a couple no's, so I'm counting up my no's and keep going. <laughs> There's a lot of people that will, yeah. um, they work until they hear three people actually say the word no. Mm -hmm. Like they actually have to say the word no and they keep inviting and they keep going until they hear three no's a day. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I pick it. You know what's yep. fun? It's like you, um, you get frustrated because it's like, then people aren't saying no, and you're like, come on, I've got to go. I need my third <laughs> no. Someone better tell me no soon because I have stuff to do. Mm -hmm. It's weird how your, your thinking changes after a while. You're like, dang it, they said yes again. Yeah. Well, and a couple, I've had a handful of them say, oh, yeah, I just joined a gym, and I'm doing this new, um, starting a new challenge at the gym. It's like, so what do you say back to them when they're like, oh, yeah, I got this awesome thing going on? <laughs> um. Then I personally, um, yeah. I will ask them how they're, if they're working on their eating. Okay. Um, so if some, yep, so somebody goes to a gym, they join mm -hmm. a gym. Because a lot of people join gyms in January and then they kind of phase out. Um, yeah. Using it. Um, and so I ask them, like, are you seeing results? That you, okay. Because, I mean, look at the results you're seeing. Um, yeah. Then are you happy with your results? And then they're going to say, well, not really. <laughs> Maybe some yeah, of them, I guess. and then you go. Are they working? Um, are they working on your eating? Um, and are, then, are they helping you with your nutrition? You with your nutrition, yeah, yeah. If okay, they're not then you can help them with your nutrition, and they can still go to the gym. Um, but then you can help them with their nutrition, like Shakeology or the containers. So I I work with tons and tons of people that do go to a gym, but they're drinking Shakeology, or they're uh, or then mm -hmm. some of them are. Um, maybe they're runners or they go to a gym, but then they also want to do some extra workouts for on demand because it's so inexpensive. Like it's eight dollars and thirty eight cents a month. So right. for that kind of price, a lot of people will do both. Okay. I think um oh, I thought I muted myself. Um wait, Jennifer, who who is who's Jennifer? Who am I talking to? I don't know if my know video you? yeah, no, you don't. <laughs> okay. I didn't know if you're Jennifer Kiesler or um, somebody else I might know. You're just I, Jennifer's iPhone right now. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer is Lori Warner's coach. And I um, okay. talked for an hour and a half a couple days ago. <laughs> and she's a pharmaceutical rep. And oh, sweet. I've never, she is more excited about Beachbody. She has exploded. Like, I love Beachbody so much. I want to quit my job. I want to be <laughs> so, I'm like, oh my gosh, I love her. So, so it's, so, I mean, that's where she's, that's where her mindset is right now. Like Very cool. she has amazing before and afters. Um, and she's, she's exploding and she helps. You can tell Rob what you do for a living, what you do. Like you, you actually talk to people about wellness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you get them off the pharmaceuticals. So she said she's got so many people <laughs> on her fingertips. And I said, just, just invite everybody to your team. Just start inviting. Um, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, like, keep it simple. I feel like sometimes in our heads, we just make it too hard and then we don't do anything. But it, just know that it's super simple um, to invite people to your team to, to, yeah, uh, to just rock it out. Um, mm -hmm. It's like Jeff, Jeff, when Jeff and I started, we were like, what do we do now? Um, uh, how about I come over to your house and work out and we'll invite people. And then like, we filled up his basement and then we were having workouts in his backyard when it was warmer out. 
Um, and so it was just, it was always just a matter of just inviting people and, um, you know, eventually they will show up. Oh, and I will tell you when someone is having some success, like they have, they're doing some kind of program at, at, uh, at the gym or whatever, Jennifer, um, mm -hmm. for me, it's never really like, a like, a an art thing is better than what you have going on. Uh, right. cause what I saw over, uh, paying attention to different people, especially, uh, runners, runners, uh, to me seemed very, uh, likely to get, um, uh, offended if you suggested that uh, doing maybe P90X with you would be better than uh, running. <laughs> I don't, I don't really know why. Um, but it was like, that was their thing. You know, that yeah. was their meditation. That was their time away where there was just them and their, in their head, their thoughts and their music. Um, so I would always approach it like, that's so like, that is so awesome that they're having success or that they've committed to doing some kind of program at the gym or running or whatever. And then from there out, I would always maintain some communication with them. And then over time we would just become workout buddies, whether virtually or on the phone texting or whatever, just checking in with each other. And more often than not, both of us would have a greater amount of success in doing what we were doing because we had developed that kind of relationship. And eventually most of them would be like, Hey, so um, what was that hammer and chisel thing that just came out? I saw you, you know, working out with that muscle guy one day and then with that little <laughs> ripped pixie girl the next day and, and, and you were struggling doing her workout more than you're struggling doing, you know, that muscle dudes workout. And I was like, yeah, you know, it's, you know, this is what we have mm -hmm. going on invite them to a workout, invite them to check it out, but always establishing that kind of workout buddy you guys are both on the same wavelength you know okay. you're both trying to reach a different level of fitness than you are at right now and so um when you always have that in common it's never like a competition thing like um you know your your you know your program is is is, is cool mm -hmm. and all but like look at my p90x 12 <laughs> or whatever it's you know? um, right build the friendship establish the connection and then it's just a matter of time before they're like, I really like what you have going on because the difference in what you're doing and what they're doing is you're sharing it with other people and inspiring other people and getting mm -hmm. those other people involved. Whereas most people, their fitness journey is just sort of like a solo thing, you right. know, where they're not like saying, Hey, you got to come down here to lifetime <laughs> fitness and get a membership with me and, and, and go on this journey with me. You know, mm -hmm. but you're like, here, look what I'm doing. I can do it. So can you join me? You know, so you're mm -hmm. taking an active interest. And then when they reach a certain point in their journey, they want to start taking an active interest and in making a, a change in the life of other people as well. And then, oh, look, on the side, you can make some money. That's cool. You know, right. It's just, you know, establish that relationship, build that friendship, connect mm -hmm. on that level very easy to check in with somebody it takes five seconds to fire off a message on Instagram or Facebook. Mm -hmm. So pretty soon you'll have a list of a couple hundred people you're checking in with, you know, and it, that's, that is like actually productive work, mm -hmm. you know, for your business. That's part of being a professional. Mm -hmm. So most people do that every day and they're not actually, building a business or anything. They're just like screwing around on the internet. So why right. not be like uh, doing what everybody else does, but you build a huge business out of it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and now I realize I did meet you at Frankenmuth at the super Saturday. I live in Freeland too, a job. Oh, okay. Well, I'm in Saginaw yeah. now. I moved. Oh, to Saginaw. Yeah. So I heard you I'm say that you were. <laughs> oh yeah. That's where I am right over by the cool. high school. And that's where my ex and the kids live. <laughs> yeah. I'm there like, like I'm Falcon there like Crest. Five. The Falcon yeah. Crest. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. No, they, um, don't, they don't live in Falcon Crest. They live on Elmwood. Okay. Like yeah. I'm, you know, the road before the high school off Webster. 